Well, hello there, ladies and germs, and good evening. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is the new Lumineer Mini Razor Pro 4-in-1 20 by 20 F3 BL Heli 32 45 amp 2 to 6 S. Um, now, some people say that, that having those F3 processors does not make that much of a difference, but I saw, I think it was Drone Mesh. Drone Mesh? Yeah. Put it on a oscilloscope back when there was only a couple people doing the F3. Um, I forget who the other company was that first started doing the F3 processors on the ESCs. Yes, maybe it is a little bit of overkill, but the traces were far, far cleaner on the F3 processors than on the normal BL Heli 32 ESCs. So it has a cleaner signal, whether you like it or not. No matter what the, um, the ball guy says with the glasses, I saw it on the oscilloscope with my own eyes. Anywho, so I've had these for a couple months, but I did not want to just bust them out of the box and show them to you guys. Here they are. They come in this neat little plastic case. Comes with your little wiring harness, your soft mounts, blah, blah, blah. We don't do unboxings here, but here it is. And I would, as some of you know, I was recently in Thailand um, practicing everyday grueling practice, back-to-back -back packs, six to eight hours a day, all week long, um, Flying 5S with this here ESC and did not have a hiccup. I don't even have a capacitor or anything on here and I had perfectly clean video and there will be some more videos coming on my channel from Thailand, but I wanted to jump in here real quick and show you guys this ESC since I am back in China now and trapped inside because of the kung flu that's going around as everybody's calling it nowadays but anyway i beat the crap out of these escs and did not have a single hiccup it is a 20 by 20 mounting but it is you get all the goodness of a full-sized esc which i really like some people may some may not but i do because the esc pokes out a little bit here so when i snapped an arm and had to replace crap and whatever it was super easy to unsolder <coughs> no, I do not have the Kung Flu. My throat just gets dry from talking so quickly to you guys to try to squeeze this all in a short enough video that it doesn't take 20 minutes for me to do a stupid little interview. Anyway, there it is. The Min Chan frame. I really like this frame. It flies fantastic. So I beat the crap out of them. Flying 5S, pack after pack, video's clear, blah, 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 blah. But here is the really cool thing that I want to show you guys, and it is BAM! on this side right here right here on the back of this here esc you see these two little rails right there right up in there what you can do is when you go to get fpv and order one of these oh and when you go to get fpv and order one of these do not forget my new code is skadoosh 2020 the old code does not work anymore this year i have a new code Skidoo's 2020, and now they have a loyalty program. So when you order, you get money, dollars, loyalty dollars towards your next order, and then you can use my code again on top of the loyalty dollars and get even extra savings. And full disclosure, I mainly do this for you guys to um, get discounts on gear. I can get, I get like, what happens is, is I can get a percentage of whatever my codes, affiliate links, or whatever make um and they do it quarterly but i only get back there once or twice a year so i only get a small box of parts i don't even use up all my um quarterly stuff because i can only fit so much stuff in my suitcase so my main reason for carrying on with the code and stuff like that is for you guys my friends fans whatever fly buddies all you guys out there, guys and gals, I love you so much that I just want you guys to save all the money and get the best gear. Anyway, so you go to their webpage and you can see I don't have any here on the bench because I didn't grab any while I was there like a nincompoop. Um, these two rails right here, you can solder on 
an LC filter that has a VTX on off switchable on it, a um, power, uh, uh, what do I want to say? It's a shunt resistor to, uh, to cut your power like a, like a Pulo, a P, a little, 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 you know, so you can have 5 volt, 10 volt out, all that stuff. I can't think of the freaking name for it right now because I'm a moron. Or you can buy another little board that is all capacitors. Like I said, I flew this on 5S with um, no problems with noise or anything like that. But I am pretty interested in the LC filter with the um, power output on it. So you can customize this ESC however you want on those little rails right there. If you're using like a noisier type VTX or something like that and you need extra filtering, if you're running a 6S with some noisy motors and you need extra capacitors and you want a VTX switch or you need a power cut to five volt, a step down, step down regulator. See, I knew I'd think of it eventually. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> you can't outsmart me because I'm a moron. So anyway, there it is in all its glory and goodness. The new ESC from Lumineer. I love it so much. And I actually, it comes with the harness to plug it into the um, F7, but I repinned mine to fly with the brain Radix all up in there. And it worked out fantastic. So... That's about all there is to that. Oh, fuck the FAA, boy! What? Peace!